Hey, welcome back. My name is Rahul, and in the next few videos, we're going to develop an Android app from the very beginning. You'll learn the fundamentals of Android development, and you can take these concepts and apply them to build your own Android apps. I'm going to assume you have some background in programming, but you might be new to Android development. What we're going to build is a tip calculator where you can enter in a base amount, a tip percentage, and the app will calculate the tip and total amount. Keep watching so we can build this together. There are three things I wanna talk about in this video. One, I wanna show you the main features of our tip calculator app. Second, I want to discuss the Android concepts that we'll come across while building this. And third, I want to discuss the Android concepts that we won't come across while building this, just so that you're aware that uh, more complicated or sophisticated apps out there will have to deal with these issues that we won't have to deal with here. If you're not interested in this overview, then feel free to skip this video and go directly to the second video in the series. Let's start with a demo of the tip calculator so we can get an understanding of the main features. In this example, I went out for a very lavish dinner and I spent $83.15 on the dinner and I'm giving a generous tip of 24% and the app calculates the tip and total amount. Just to make the math easier, let's change the amount to be $100. So you can see that the keyboard comes up and it only allows us to enter in numbers and decimals. Now, uh, the tip percent is still 24 and you can see that the math adds up. The total is a sum of the base plus the tip. If I was feeling more generous, I could actually increase the tip to the maximum, which is 30. And you can see the color of the text has shifted to a brighter green, so it animated. And we changed the text to be amazing instead of great. On the other hand, if I was really unhappy with the service, I might tip zero. We consider that a poor tip. And the total is the sum of the base and the tip. And the tip is nothing, so this makes sense. And finally, you can see at the bottom, we have a footer, which says, um, who made the app. You can kind of personalize this to be whatever message you want. The concepts we learn while building the tip calculator are going to be the same concepts that are fundamental to every Android app. First, creating the UI. Every app needs a user interface. The way we'll do this for the tip calculator is using something called the constraint layout, which is a relatively recent addition to the Android ecosystem. Constraint layout allows us to create complex yet performant view hierarchies, and we'll talk more about what that means. But the constraint layout is going to be the view group that we use, and it contains all the other views that you saw, such as a text view, edit text, and seek bar. Second, every app needs to listen for user input. In our case, we'll have two ways for the user to input data. One, which is edit text, where the user can enter in the bill amount. And second, a seek bar, where the user can indicate the tip percentage. And finally, styling and animations. Pretty much every Android app will have some amount of custom styling, and most apps will also have animations. So we'll scratch the surface of some custom styling, and we'll also have a really cool animation around changing the text color of the text, the tip description. There's also a lot that we're not covering, and this is a good thing because it makes our app simpler. First, we're not going to cover multiple screens. Our app is a single screen, and that means that we don't have to deal with the complexity of multiple screens or multiple activities and having to deal with navigating between them and handling the back stack. Second, we're not going to be covering networking or dealing with the internet. As soon as you start to make API calls to um, some server, then you have to think about error handling, how long the request takes and things like that, which we don't have to deal with because everything we're doing is local. And third, we're not going to be covering storage. There's no database and there's no internal storage that our app relies on. We're taking in user data and displaying that uh, on the screen immediately, there's nothing to do with storage. And all three of these make our app much simpler, although you might encounter these in other apps in the real world. Once again, here's the completed tip calculator application. I'll leave a link in the description to the GitHub repository, which contains my code. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help as much as I can. I'm sure when you build this app and you walk into a restaurant, you're gonna be super popular because this app will literally have your name on it and all your friends will be asking you to help them compute the tip that they're supposed to pay. So I'll see you in the next video.